Uh, hi everyone, welcome back to learnautomation.com. This is Mukesh. So this is a part two of uh, Dynamic X path. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen a couple of methods. So we already discussed till text method. In this video tutorial, we'll focus on the following preceding ancestor and uh, absolute versus relative X path. I think this ancestor spelling is not correct. So I will make the changes later. So I will use the same application now that we discussed in the part one. So now let's take a scenario. I need to search. Uh, let's take this. So this is the tag which I need to enter. So let's say if I'm entering one tag called Selenium. Okay. So if I need to enter here and right now you can see the ID is constant. Let's say tags input, but assume if it is not constant, but you can see here this text will be uh, remain same only this ID will keep changing but this tags will not uh, change right so what we can do we can find this tag first then based on the tag I will select this one let's say I need to search uh, I need to type something here right now this text area ID is constant and it says content but let's say if it is changing very frequently so what I will do, I will search for this content keyword, then I will search this. So this is like you can search for one element and select the following element, select the previous element and so on. So we will be using the same. I will search. Let's say I want to search first label called contain. So I can see here this content is coming here. So let's say let's say this example only and uh, I need to search for this so what I will do I will simply type double slash following colon colon then I will search for input so this is actually text area so I will search for text area so you can see here I'm getting only one matching node because throughout the page I have only one text area so this what it it will do it will search for this label called content then following means after this content whatever elements are coming I am looking only for text area so this is the text area so if you put mouse over here it will highlight so this is this is one example so if you take another example so this is the previous uh, examples I will remove it let's say I want to search all the input fields here so you can see I'm getting all the input fields after this content so right now we have only three input content that is save draft reset and publish so let's say if I want to search for a specific one I can give the index like give me the first one so it will highlight only the tags one if I search for this that is nothing but your it's not highlighting and it's you can see it's hidden tag so it's not an issue let's search for third this is also hidden you can see this is called hidden tag which is not displaying on the UI but it's matching here so if you can see it's matching with element so let's search for fifth element it is also hidden like this you can see all the matching nodes are coming right now it's displaying only three but if you see here total count is coming 17 so let's say I want to search for a input where ID equal to tags input so I will say ID equal to tags input and you can see it's matching with this right so like this you can uh, use the following and get all the elements and you can uh, specify some more attributes to uniquely identify this so let me take one more example let's say this is one dashboard I want to so this is the dashboard after this dashboard I want to search for all the anchor link which is displayed on a web page so I will again say double slash following uh, colon colon and a so you can see it's matching all the anchor link after this dashboard so if you notice only this dashboard is not getting highlighted after dashboard whatever the 
hyperlinks are coming it's displaying so it's matching with 199 let's say if I'm searching for the first one that is nothing but your home if I change a two, it will search for update three this post symbol if I search for four this content like this I can navigate based on my requirement I can search all the elements which I'm looking at so, so following means after this after this particular element which element you want just the following and you can specify and good thing about this this is interview question like uh, like question will be can you tell me the X path axis so I will show you one very good link you can refer it simple type X path axis so in X path axis you will get all these methods which I'm covering here I'm covering very limited one which is uh, mostly f frequently used one but if you see xpath axis you will get all the methods with some more details so right now I'm covering like following that is nothing but this I will be covering now preceding that is this preceding sibling name is space child parent so you can explore it uh, I will give this as an assignment to you you can explore it from your end but yes make sure this term if somebody is asking you about xpath access make sure it is like simple xpath methods only so you can see I'm getting xpath access in selenium web driver okay, so you will get again some different uh, blogs which talks about this okay. so this is one example for following in the same way I will show you one example for preceding so as the name itself says preceding means uh, before this element whatever element is coming it will display let's say I am looking for this link and before link whatever elements are coming so let's say I will say preceding P R E C E D I N G preceding double colon and I will search for anchor link so as you can see here before link whatever anchor links are coming it is displaying here right if I search for the first one it will give me this symbol if I say two it let's say three it's giving me this library option that is right now it's hidden so let's search for four it's selecting media so you can see it's going to the opposite direction right so like this you can um, find a relative X path and this helps me a lot I will show you how it helps me so let me log out first I have a very good example where generally I use this following and preceding so whenever you work with web table you will find you can see there's one small bug here even if I'm clicking on logout it's not log logging out so let me directly specify this URL I will change it to WordPress admin nope it is still redirecting okay let me close this and let me start with a fresh window I will open an incognito window yeah so let's say I want to click on this input box and I notice like this ID is getting changed every time when I refresh my page but I have noticed like this text is not getting changed this username text is still constant so what I will do I will search for this specific text so I will say uh, search for an specific text called username okay I got this username so you can see it's highlighting the complete element because I'm looking for this let me change to label now I will search for this some issue it's highlighting this text box but now what I will do I will say following double colon input so it's giving me this username and password other things so what I will do I will search for the first one first one that is nothing but a username what it means search for the username text then after this whatever first input tag is coming select this one so first is nothing but your username right so if I say two it's this remember me like this if you say 
थ्री सो इट्स मैचिंग विथ टू एलिमेंट्स एज ऑफ नाउ राइट नाउ इट्स मैचिंग विद दिस एंड विद दिस एंड फोर दैट इज नथिंग बट योर लॉग इन and let's say i need to search using preceding what i will do i will search uh, this login first and based on this i will select this password field so anyways we got this xpar now i will go to the reverse direction and i will say double slash let me go to preceding preceding double colon input 1 so it is highlighting this check box because input this is also an input box right so i am searching for the first input that is coming in the reverse direction so before login this remember me is coming if i search for 2 yes now this password field is coming so now you can traverse according to your uh, requirement following proceeding and you can find that element and go ahead and perform your operation validate your responses <clears throat> so this is how it works again you need to explore this let me enter to this application i have some more to uh, display so again i will enter password as demo123 okay if i navigate to dashboard Yeah, so this is the dashboard. So let me search for this post. So you can see here I have one post, and uh, this is nothing but anchor link. And if I keep going up, it's showing me this list, right? So let me search for a specific element where I can show you the adjacent one. okay so you can see here this is your welcome panel and this is your logo which is coming for wordpress yeah let's search for ancestor so for an ancestor will search for div so what it is doing it is searching for an ancestor where it contains div tag so before this so where was the welcome panel so this was the actual our welcome panel so ancestor means before uh, for this particular element i'm searching all the ancestors okay and i'm searching for div so it's giving me all this div i will search for the first one Okay, you can see it's highlighting two. If I search for two, it's again matching two. So like this, you can move to the parent uh, tag also, and you can perform your operations using ancestor. In the same way, we having disinstead as well, and um, he has couple of methods. So I showed you one xpath access, right? You can keep trying, but I will use this following proceeding most of the time, and the one which i use very frequently text method and the combination of relative plus absolute so let me show you the difference between relative and ex <coughs> absolute so let's say i am looking for, uh, let me give you one example first so let's say i am searching for this master sorry menu dashboard so you can see on top it is highlighting only this area right on top if you see it's highlighting dashboard home and update now you can see it's coming here right so if i expand this i'm getting one div tag again one div tag one anchor link again one div tag so what it means i will navigate till here then i will use one forward slash only one forward slash make make a note of it double slash means it will search throughout the page single slash means just after this it will search let me search only the anchor link 
so I can see here only one anchor link is coming in this after this menu dashboard if I search for div I'm getting some three div tags here okay now let's take one more example so if you see here I'm getting so many allies here right ally 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 so let me expand one of the ally here again I have these three div tag so you, like this you can navigate wait for more example I can show you so if I search for the specific area so this is one specific area okay where it says div welcome panel column and if I see here it's giving h4 and this p and again if I expand ul I will get couple of more elements so how exactly it works so first I will search for this welcome panel so this complete area is coming under welcome panel right so you can see if I scroll up and down this complete area is coming as a highlighted one so this is welcome panel so if I expand this I will get couple of tags so one is the input so let me search for input what I will do I will say slash input so let's see where it is highlighting it's highlighting some other area okay so it's a hidden so right now you cannot see but we have some element here so let's search for uh, you can see after this welcome panel we have an anchor link as well right so let's search for an anchor link so you can see on the right hand side I'm getting one uh, element called dismiss because inside this welcome panel I'm searching for anchor link in the same way if I want to explore div tag so I will say give me all the div so you can see I'm getting so many div tags and complete web welcome pages inside div so I have one div another div so if I want to go for first div I can go for the first div and I can see in the first div only this logo is coming out that's not required so I will go to the second one so I came here now if I see here just let me see. yeah scroll down so I can see here if I put mouse over here complete welcome page in the second div so if I expand again I have one h3 so if I search for h3 oh congratulations it's selecting this h2 so it's h3 like heading 3 so if I don't want to go for h3 I can go to this p if I search for p okay so I have two p means paragraph okay so this is the first paragraph so if I put mouse over here it's the first paragraph and this is the second paragraph so let's check where is the second paragraph okay it's somewhat here in the down area yeah this one so if I want to go to the second one I will say p2 so I'm coming here if I expand this I can see one anchor link is coming so if I say anchor link and this is the message so now you can see this is the combination of relative and absolute xpath so what you can do you can find one specific region and inside that region you can search for a specific tag so this is how you can traverse and this is also recommended one sometimes what you will find one complete table inside that table you need to find out some table rows table data at that time you need this combination of relative and ex absolute expert so soon I will create another tutorial on a web table so again I will follow the same standard I will be using the single slash double slash and trust me if you practice this from your side you will enjoy this because it's one of the most interesting topic in Selenium web driver and it's very important in terms of interviews as well they will be asking you like what is the difference between single slash double slash absolute expert relative expert and different kind of questions will come out if you talk about expert okay so remaining thing I will keep up to you you can start exploring from your end because this topic is very big and if I keep exploring it will take another three to four hours so just try out from your end and let me know if you find any issues okay thanks for watching this video have a nice day bye bye